This is Ruben Hoffman, and I want to share out something I learned at Rachel Winty Cheney's HTML5 for Teachers session. Um, I learned many things about just basics of HTML5. It was an amazing session. Check out snowydog.com forward slash ipdx14 forward slash index.html. That is her website that uh, with all kinds of resources. You can find Rachel at here at r w e n t e c h a n e y she's an amazing educator so what i what we did was we got she gave us a task and our task was to go in and look at possibly creating um, some basic basic web pages and so she uh, first of all had, had us use a new folder and then copy and paste this into a text editor. Well I'm using my Chromebook and I ran into some problems with that in that I normally am on my Mac and when I'm on my, my Chromebook I'm just really in drive. So the first thing I had to do is figure out well heck, how the heck do I create a folder and if I go into my apps here I can go to my files and in my files I go up to the gear and I create a new folder. So I set up an index folder. You can see that back here. Um, I called it IPDX, uh, IPDX underscore, I, I mean, index underscore IPDX 14. And that's where I was going to store my files from my text editor. Well, the next thing I need, needed to do was to get a text editor to drag and drop the um, code she had given us to play around with. So where was I going to take this and put it? I went to the Chrome store. Again, you can access down here in, in the cube um, by going to the store. And so I pulled up text editor, grabbed the text editor, and it worked really well. And so I can go to my apps, scroll over to text, and it pulls up this text editor. I popped in the code, and then I was able to manipulate it. Click on Save As and save your pages in there. So now it's all stored on your Chromebook. And what I did was I ended up creating a little page with some links and things like that. So thank you, Rachel, very much for teaching me the basics of HTML5, and I hope to share this with my, with my students.